So welcome to yet another episode of Danganronpa. This has to be the longest series I've done on YouTube so far. Um, Tales Symphonia will be longer if I ever do finish uploading that, but anyway. Um, so in the last episode, we found out that we talked to Kitty Kitty, and apparently she thinks it's even possible that maybe she came to the school, maybe. And she's going to check out that notebook we said that is hers. She's going to go check it out and see what's going on in that notebook. And until then, she gave us a DVD that she found about emergency interviews for the 78th class, which is us. And she says, once I watch this video, everything will make sense. So I am hoping to God that this actually clears up. So much confusion that I have going on up in my head right now. Because, like, seriously, this game is something about a huge fucking puzzle. It's one of my favorite games I think I've ever played, too, though. That's what makes this insane. Okay. How do we watch this? Click the computer, maybe? I don't know. I should be able to watch the DVD here. Alright, let's give it a shot! I slid the DVD I got from Kid again into the drive. Okay. The video started playing, but the screen remained black. I stared at the dark screen. It was only a few seconds, I think. But to me, it felt extraordinarily long. Suddenly, and without warning, the video began. Oh. My Zono? I felt like I'd been struck at the back of the head! It had been so long since I had seen my Zono's face. Let us begin the interview. I heard the voice of a man sitting in front of the camera. An adult man's voice. You'll have to forgive me. I'll be recording this interview. I'm never good at multitasking. I'm not talented enough to conduct an interview and take notes at the same time. The man probably intended it as a joke, but my Zono's stern face didn't budge an inch. In a way, this recording is like a substitute for our written contract. It's not that we don't trust you, it's just a precaution. So please, don't let it bother you. Well then, I'll get straight to the point. You could very well end up spending the rest of your, of li of your life here in this academy. Do I have your consent? Do, do you have my consent? There was a clear look of uncertainty on my Zona's face. What? And why wouldn't there be? There's no way she would agree to spend her whole life here. No, she really didn't want to. If I remember correctly. Um, yes. What? Thank you. And I'm sorry. I promise to do everything in my power to take care of you. On my name, as the Kebukamine Academy Headmaster. The video ended there. Well, I could say the same thing about everything that's happened up to this point. This, more than anything, makes absolutely no sense. I mean, my Zona wanted out of here so badly. She wanted so badly to reunite with her friends and take on her dream. Then she threw me under the bus? Then why? Why would she agree to spend her whole life here? The next thing I knew, an unexpected flash of light filled my vision. The video I thought was over had resumed playing. Half reflexively, I turned back toward the screen. And what I saw there threw me into an even deeper confusion. Him? What? It was me? I was be- I was beyond a shadow of a deal looking at myself. Before we begin, Nagai, you should know that I will be recording the contents of this interview. I understand. I was sitting face to face with the headmaster? He was talking to me. But the me watching it all took place. I had no memory of it happening. Never mind the interview, I had no memory of having ever even met the headmaster. And yet, well, then I'll get straight to the point. Nagai, you could very well end up spending the rest of your life here inside this academy. Do I have your consent? Yes. No way. I said yes? I'm sorry to have put you through this. What other choice do we have? As long as you're inside the academy, I will do everything in my power to protect you. As the Kibukuman Academy Headmaster, I give you my word. Oh, this game is so confusing. The video cut out for a second time, and the cycle repeated over and over again. Tugami. Fukawa. Asahina. And everyone else. Each and every one of them agreed to, s to a life sealed up inside the school. Even. Kiri Giri? There was a recording of her interview, too. She really did meet him. The headmaster. Her dad. And she responded just as everyone else had when he asked his question. She agreed to spend her whole life here. Just as Kitty Giddy's interview looked like it was about to end, the power to the monitor suddenly cut out. Huh? 
It wasn't just the monitor, the DVD player, too. Naturally, the video stopped playing. What the? Why did. You best. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, we appear to be experiencing technical difficulties. Technical difficulties, now of all times. Technical difficulties are never late, nor are they early. They occur precisely when they mean to. It's almost like magic! That's not an accident. That's sabotage! Although, it wouldn't make any difference either. It would just be more of the same. The headmaster asking the same question, everyone giving the same answer. Without realizing it, I let a heavy sigh, and when I did, a certain conversation replayed itself in the back of my mind. Hers? Right after I woke up, I realized something didn't feel quite right inside me. Thinking back on it now, I had already lost my memories then. I had forgotten. The reason I came to this academy, and my super door high school ability. But why? How could you just forget? Strange, isn't it? It's hard to believe so convenient a development could be more a mere coincidence. Convenient? A convenient development for the Puppet Master. Then all this... Did I forget too? What about the others? What have they forgotten too? Or... Maybe the guy was the one taking that class photo, by the way. Okay. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You better not be telling me. Oh, for every beginning, there must come an end. And with every end comes a new beginning. The night is long that never finds the day. But the morning is black as pitch. Rainy days never stay. But I hope you like draughts. Yes, every end brings with it a new beginning. For that reason, we shall meet again. After all, what is an end but just another beginning? So let us begin. Let us begin the class trial that will put an end to everything. See you all at the usual spot. So that's it. It's starting. It's beginning. The class trial is about to begin. The final class trial. Where we put all our lives on the line. The final class trial. Where hope will clash with despair. All I can do is give it my best. Here goes. This is where it all ends. And I still have so many things in my head left unanswered. So we'll go through all the talking, and then the next episode we'll, we'll start the actual class trial, but I guess I'm the first one here. You got here quick, Nagai. You look like you're ready to go, or something like that. What about everyone else? Any idea where they are? Don't worry, they'll be here soon. And she was exactly right. Togami? Togami! Togami? No one wants to talk to him. As she said, one by one, they all gathered in the foyer. But every last one of them... A Sahina? A Kukuri? Was dead silent. And it wasn't just any normal silence. It was a silence born from distrust. The atmosphere in the room was like the day we arrived at this academy. And genocider. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, my cool, hot, and sexy white knight is such a darling, even when he's not talking. But have no fear if you can leave everything to me. Just to be sure, I gave these babies a little tune up so I can rip big evil boss man a new one. I thought you only killed man hunks. For my white knight's sake, I'll kill anything, naughty bits be damned. So leave it to. Oh. Where am I? We all feel so let down. We're at a loss for words. Up above, the class is all assembled. Every last pitiful, downtrodden one of you. So let's get cracking. The final class trial, Mary knitted in a pitch black sauce of unparalleled despair, climbed to the max. Yes, let's. Only this time we're doing things fairly. This time? I don't need your slander. If there was a fairness world championship, I'd take the gold, no doubt about it. I always hit above the belt. I'll win this thing fair and square. And I'll prove to all you viewers that despair is stronger than hope. Even with your performances to start already. You got it, homie. Let's get this show on the road. I'll be waiting downstairs. So no running. Monokuma vanished, leaving nothing but his usual cackle behind. <laughs> Very well. I'll put an end to this, and soon... Togami stepped forward and boarded the elevator. Soon after, the others followed suit. What is wrong? It, 
Everyone avoided making eye contact, and nobody said anything as they disappeared into the elevator. Everyone's acting strange, don't you think? It's like they're all suspicious of each other. And you look like you know why. Probably, yeah. But we can save that conversation for later. Join the class trial? Alright, I'm prepared. Prepared to win? Absolutely! We gonna win everything! We gonna kill the bear! We gonna kill everybody! We gonna win! Glad to hear you say that. And then can I get the two-board of the elevator? Leaving me! I stepped forward. I faced the elevator and I moved it toward it, muttering, it all ends here, under my breath. I was strangely unafraid. The trembling and the nervousness had run off somewhere. And, with a sure step, we stepped into death. I boarded the elevator. It started to move, sinking straight down. Deeper, 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 and deeper, and even deeper. Deeper, and 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 deeper. It sank. I brought my eyelids down over my eyes. The sound faded away, and I stood, just like that, waiting for the door to open. And after some time, I felt the elevator come to a stop, and I slowly reopened my eyes. We're in the trial room! This looks different. This is the final courtroom? What do you think? The decor is pretty great, ain't it? It's the perfect stage on which to decide your fate. You finally made it to the last level! Here comes the long-awaited final boss! But though, since I'll be participating this time, I'd like to... Oh, I'd, I'd like to make use of that empty 16th seat. Let's... Being said, let's rock! He's actually going to stand there this time. And we're going to save the data. And we're going to end the episode here because we're going to only start the trial in the new episode because, I mean, we got a lot here that we had done. we got to go all the way up. Save on this one. And hope you all enjoyed the episode. So please come and subscribe. Tell me what you all thought. Hope to see you all in the next episode, which will be a huge slew of just the freaking final trial. See you then, guys. Bye-bye.